where is the love in all these religious people as vipers are they? They won't say a word to me, but they're condemning the hell out of me. I know they are. My only real uh, uh, faithful few out there probably is David Wood, uh, the Islamic apologist who's looking at holes so that he can start attacking me. He's never going to find them. Hi, David. I love you. I do. I love that guy. One of the best videos I've ever seen was his personal story. Make sure you find it. On, it, it is on YouTube. I wear it, my love tie because it's time that we start showing some love to one another. We can agree to disagree, but we can be civil. I have given my phone number to people like David Wood. They won't have no balls to even call me. And by the way, I apologize. My last video, I kind of told a bunch of vipers and religious people about and how to get there. So I apologize. I should not lose my temper, but my soul is not upright. And I've been transgressed by wine, but the just shall live by my faith. I am the latter-day Daniel who has embraced my destiny as Elijah to save this world spiraling from death. That is what is ahead of us. The Son of Love has arisen, and praise God, he's going to save us from ourselves by, by enlarging his love within us. And when it starts overflowing, then will come the fullness of the kingdom age. Uh, the age of grace is over, people. Uh, Jesus said in Matthew 24 that unless, unless those days were cut short, no flesh could be saved. How in the heck is he going to cut time short? Only God's word could touch cut time short. His word was only closed till the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9, because his message of Malachi 3, 1 had to come. And wouldn't you know it, it was his prayer in Gethsemane. And wouldn't you know it, he wants to be the good shepherd over all the flocks of men, because all mankind had been his anyways. And when the seventh trumpet sounded, and it has, the seventh trumpet sounded, and when that happened, the first is last, last is first. The seventh trumpet sounded first, and all nations immediately became the Lord's. So it is time to to realize that we have leaned to our own understanding. We have uh, Christians have uh, pinpointed how to be saved. Oh, you got to believe. The Bible says many are going to say, Lord, Lord, he's going to say, I don't know you. Believing is flat. It's a condition of the heart. It's love. Do you have your love light on? Have you committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Have you let your love light go right up because that's him living in us. So people, uh, all of our understandings have been off and no one in the world believes the utter gospel truth, I suppose, except me. That's why I, I keep broadcasting even though nobody is listening to me. I'm another Noah in the days of Noah. He spent many years building an ark for nobody that wanted to ride. I spent many, many years writing 200 books. Google my name, Daniel F. Owsley, O-W-S-L-E-Y. Uh, because the word breathes upon me. That's what you guys don't get. Uh, I had open-eyed visions. I've heard the audible voice of God. I was told when I was 30 years old, here you are in Isaiah 49. That is you. Same thing happened to uh, uh, Alexander the Great. He was told by Nathan, hey, you're the king of Macedonia. You will be unbeatable. Hey, I know who I am, and the world wants to scoff and mock me but I will have the last laugh because within a time, times, and a half a time, the walls are tumbling, tumbling down. The shattering of the power of the holy people caused by Elijah, pulling down distortional uh, understandings of, of Scripture that have always been of no profit to people. The scripture, uh, the prophecy was never told to tell the future. It, that would be a terrible thing if it was told to tell, tell the future because then it would lock us into a, a future that's unescapable. That's bullshit!